Hello and welcome to another video by myself, Chris, from Surrey on the Budget. Today I'm going to be doing another Budgets Budget Buys uh, video. Uh, after the success of the Scottish one, I've done an English Premier League one today. And this is actually going to be one of two um, because there's quite a lot, to be perfectly honest. Um, I, uh, I've, I'm i still riddled with COVID, so if I struggle to get through this, I, I apologise. I wanted to get it out before the game week starts uh, to give people a chance to have a look. Uh, as I say, it's pretty English Premier League based. It's all outfield positions. I haven't included any goalkeepers in this. Um, all the defenders and midfielders are under fifty pounds, um, and the forwards are under uh, eighty. I couldn't. I, I was. It was a bit of a struggle to be perfectly honest to try and squeeze it all in. And um, these prices were correct as of last night, so they might have slightly adjusted this morning, but it won't be by much. Um, if you're new to uh, my channel hit the subscribe button below it helps continue to grow the channel um, also if you uh, are new to Surreal you can sign up on my link it'll be in the description below but it's surrealonthebudget.com um, and that'll get you started so speaking of getting started let's get rolling um, so I have 12 players same as I did for the Scottish video um, at some of these names um, I'm probably going to maybe there might be some flack for some of them or what have you. It's purely based on stats um, and their scores and things like that. So I did find that the English Premier League prices are obviously slightly more expensive than the other leagues. Um, but what you will find is, is because these are the leagues that people are watching week in, week out. They know the players. So these things, you know, it does tend to be a little bit more expensive from that point of view. Biggest league in the world. So what can you say? So I'm going to start off with Rico Henry um, from Brentford. He's a left back. Um, his recent price is 44 quid, so 44.57 was what he was on the market. He's played all three games this season. Um, you'll notice some of them have got last three, some of them have got last two. The reason being, um, like, Luton's games were postponed, so some of the players have only got a two. Um, but basically, I've just tried to include how they're performing this season so that, that that works out for you. So he's got 53 average for the season so far um, and 45 for his last 15. So he's very cap friendly. Um, as I say, played all three games, 100% of the minutes he's played. Um, he's got one assist for the season. So um, that is your first player. Second up, um, another left back. We've got Emerson uh, from West Ham um, coming in right under the £40 mark. Um, for the season so far, though, he has a 63 average uh, for the season, um, which is really, really good. Um, last 15 of 47, uh, he's played 100% of the minutes and he has won a penalty um, in one of those games. So, yeah, I, again, just really solid for 40 quid um, scoring those kind of you know, those kind of numbers is pretty decent, to be honest. So um, next up, um, one that's not necessarily scoring as well immediately, but Josh Cullen of Burnley. Um, now, longer term, his last 15 has been 51. This season, they've only played two games. One of them was against Man City as well. Um, 38 average. Um, his market price was 40, but his recent price was only 31, which I think is really, really good value. Um, he's played and you know all the minutes for the for the two games that have been uh, played this season for them. Um so, yeah, again, just decent value, I think. Then we've got Kenny Tetty from uh, Fulham, right back. Um, market price in the recent price was really weird. Um, his recent price had been 50 quid, but the market was 40. So I'm not entirely sure why that would be. Um, last oh, For the season, he's got a 39 average. Um, for the last 15, he's got 48 average. Um, again, do you know what? It's just cap-friendly numbers. Um, he did have an absolute blinder against Spurs in midweek in the Cup. Um, had that been a scored uh, game, I think he would have been well at the 60, 70 points um, just from uh, all-around score, which was really quite impressive, which is why I probably include him, to be honest. Um. Continuing on with defenders, we've got another one here. I think this is actually the last defender I've got. Uh, Joel Ward's card I actually have in my gallery. Um, under 19 quid, uh, which I just think is really, really good value. Palace are quite a good team for scoring. Um, last three, well, again, obviously season average 43. And uh, last 15 of 46. Um, he has... He's their captain. He's played uh, all three games as a starter, played 97% of the minutes. So again, you're looking at really good value. If you are just trying to pull a team together on a shoestring, 20 quid, or under 20 quid for a starting defender, I think that's pretty good value. Um, now, 
fantastic name. Marvellous Nakamba um, from Luton, centre mid. Um, was obviously previously at Aston Villa. Um, price coming up 47 quid, just under 47 quid. Um, for the season, the 32 average, which is quite low, but his longer term one last 15 and 54, um, which I think he'll probably start getting his scores back up into that kind of realm again, hopefully quite soon. Um, but I just think, again, for a player that's got decent numbers uh, behind him, it's a solid, solid pickup. Obviously, you know, they had a heavy defeat from, I think it was Chelsea. So that's going to influence what the season average is. Um, one that's probably not going to necessarily be a popular pick just for off the field reasons. Um, Adrisa Guy from uh, Everton, centre mid, under 30 quid. You know, market price was 29.19, uh, recent was 27.52. Um, season average 45 and last 15 of 51. Um, he's played, started and played all three games. Um, he's got an 83% of minutes that he's played there as well. Um, the reason I put including the percentage of minutes is just to actually say, look, it's a guy who's going to be on the field most of the time there as well. And obviously starting the three out of three. Next one up, uh, one that I had in limited, which Jordan Ayew uh, from Crystal Palace. Um, now, it, this is where we're starting to get some of the prices are a little bit more expensive because we're looking at forwards. Um, recent prices was just under 56 quid, what he's actually been selling for. The market was 72. If I can find one around the 56 pound mark, I'll probably buy one. Um, for the season, he's got a 50 average and for the last 15, it is 53. Now, what I did notice though was um, similar to some players like Boja Majowski and Ab for, of Aberdeen, it's an all or nothing. Um, if he gets a decisive, then you're going to get your 60 points. If he doesn't, you're probably looking at 30, 35 points max. Um, but as you can see by his scores, he it does seem to hit these more often than not. Um, for the season, he's started all three games. He's got 100% of the minutes played and he's got two assists in there as well. So again, I think that's it's actually really good value in my opinion. Um, then we've got Raul Jimenez of Fulham. Now, this is a wee bit of a punt and it's also dependent on uh, any potential signings uh, that are going in. All these cards are probably subject to that. Market price, 40 quid. Um, for the season, it's only 23. I think he had a game where he was barely, I think it was single digits because of just really poor chances missed and things like that. Um, last 15 of 34. Um, so very, very cap friendly if you're trying to fit somebody in. But again, this one is purely speculative. If they don't sign another striker, he's going to play. Um, so let's see what happens there. Uh, Dominic Solanke of Bournemouth is my next one. Um, the most expensive card on there, slightly over the £80 actually. It was 82 nearly. Uh, and the market price was sitting at about 90 But for the season, 49 uh, last 15 of 50 um, One goal, one assist for the season. He's played 100% of minutes, three out of three games. Um, so yeah, I think that's, again, it's really good value. He's putting in the numbers. Um, worth having a look at. Another speculative one uh, was Adama Traore of uh, newly signed at Fulham. Um, he's only played two substitute appearances, so his average is only 18. Longer term, 31. The reason I've included him is because he's very cap friendly and there's a likelihood that he's probably going to start you know, fairly regularly, I would imagine. Um, market price, just under 48 quid. So this is purely speculative one. Um, could well be worth taking the punt on because if he does uh, you know, start regularly, play very well, then his price could shoot up. Um, it's just one of those. It's a player that everybody knows. So there's that. Uh, and final player that I've got is Christian Norgard of Brentford Centre Mid. Um, market price forty three pounds twenty five. Um, his average for the season forty nine and forty five for his last fifteen. Very cap friendly. He's got one assist for the season. He's he's captained them this season. Uh, three out of three games. Uh, one assist. Eighty nine percent of minutes. I just think it's really, really good value for 40 quid. Um, you could pull together feasibly a team there, you know, for say like cap 220, uh, where you've got a limited goalkeeper. You could pull together a team there probably under 100 quid for to play rare 220, which I think is pretty solid value. Um, but with that, guys, I am going to do a part two. I might do one slightly more expensive so we could probably get some better players in there. Um, but I want to try and include one just as a serious budget one. I might up it, say, like 75 for the defenders and midfielders and maybe 100, 125 for the forwards, see what we can find that way. Um, but let's have a look. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel. Um, if you've got any ideas for upcoming videos, hit me up on Twitter on the DMs at Surreal on the Budget. And as I say, if you're new to Surreal, you could uh, sign up using my link. It's in the description below and that will get you started. Okay, guys, take care and I will speak to you all again soon.